Hello everyone and welcome to another Indie Horror Game. This time I'll be playing the demo to a game called Transient, and if you want to download this for yourselves, you can for free. Just follow the link down below in the description. All the links, all the details will be down there. So Transient is actually brought to us by the people who brought us the Darkness Within series and Canarium, both of which I really, really enjoyed and played through on the channel. I'm looking forward to this very much. This is supposed to be a first-person horror puzzle game, and it's meant to be part cyberpunk, part Lovecraftian. Let's hope it's all good. Here we go. Loathsomeness waits and dreams in the deep, and decay spreads over the tottering cities of man. Alright. I know next to nothing about this, by the way, so I'm pretty much going in blind. Good question. Whoa, okay. All right, here we are. We're in the game. The hell? Huh. I wonder if... Is this all in VR or something? What in the fuck are you? Wow, all right. What sort of being's that? <laughs> it's a jellyfish with a skeleton. No, oh, hang on. Oh, hey. Uh, how's it going? Once more you enter this place of desolation and ruin. I've been here before. Long have I watched you, your every waking and every passing. I sensed you from afar. Now I will guide you through these tenebrous fields into the Tehom. Tehom? Welcome back, Carter. Shall I be? Thanks. I remember your voice. Who are you? You discern my speech well this time. That's good. I didn't last time. Comprehension comes when you are focused. Now, proceed. Right. Okay, are you... Okay, yeah, you are going to be coming with. Maybe you're going to be my guide. Uh, in a place like this, I probably need one, honestly. I'm liking the look of it so far. This place... This city was built eons ago by a race much more advanced than yours. Yeah, yeah, all right. No need to rub it in. A handful of your kind could reach this point, but not further, just like you. Hmm. Continue on. Maybe you'll know more this time. Well, let's find out. Okay, so it seems I've got pretty limited movement controls, honestly. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can't crouch, I can't jump, I can't seem to sprint or anything either. It's just moving, you know, back, forward, left and right, essentially. Hey, how's it going? What happened to the top half of your head? Oh, hey there. Nice. Yeah, this looks really, really cool. I'm definitely getting the Canarium vibes. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I, oh. Oh, there's the old, more. The ongoing process of disillusion. Oh, yeah? When the time comes, these creatures devour everything, dead or alive, oh dear. until there is nothing more. Hopefully the time isn't coming. Proceed, and find me on the frontier of the dissolving illusory. I'll try my best. No promises, right? <laughs> oh, we can we can run. Fair enough. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. And we actually do have a body, which is always a plus. Right, yeah, let's stay away from those guys. If they're going to eat me, dead or alive, when the time comes. Yeah, I, I don't want to be anywhere near them. Yeah, definitely getting uh, a Canarium vibe. And actually a Darkness Within vibe as well. I love those designs. Okay, so... <laughs> I guess these beings were a little bit taller than me, but... I can just about reach that button. Alright. Well, 
this looks like some sort of device. Maybe a mapping device or something? Let's see. Can I do something with this? No? Maybe with this. Hmm. Uh, Alright, so there's a, there's a door over there. Oh, maybe I could just walk up to it. Yeah, maybe it just needs a, a little prod, a little poke. Or maybe not. This thing? Hmm, maybe we just go through. Or maybe we don't. Is there a switch or something? What's this? Can ah! Oh, hang on. Oh, there's there's actually quite a few of these, so hang on. If I just... If I just lower them all, will that work? Okay. And then... Th oh! Here we are. So there is something there. Okay, so they've all been lowered. Let's actually see what this does. Probably nothing too good, but... What do we do? Give it a spin? Something like that, yeah. Who turned out the lights? <laughs> oh my. Okay. What is this? Some sort of liquid inside. Molten. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Oh, hey! Wow. Alright. Cool. Uh, and you are way to life once more. Huh. Oh, let's see. Uh, let's start with who are you? Who are you? I am the last high priest of the long extinct Darian race. Faded away eons ago. Erase. From the annals of time and space. Hmm. So did I just, like, summon a hologram or something there? Where am I? Where am I? You are in Korg Cherish. Korg Cherish? Eons ago, my kind entered this region of transition. Broke the bonds of a material existence and built this place. Alright. Korg Cherish <laughs> is perilously close to the heart of Zerong. This is no place for your kind to traverse. I suggest you go back. And I suggest you abide by the subtitle restrictions. What has just happened? What just happened? My remains have been kept here for calling me from beyond to this semi-physical plane of existence. Alright. You Reanimated my body. So you're not a hologram. As you have many times before. Really? I know you, Wayfarer. We've met over and over again. In different times, but exactly the same place. Ah, we're all buddies then, are we? Okay. So, yeah, what is Tehom exactly? What is Tehom exactly? Far past the corrupting intrusions of matter and lesser forms of truth. Zehom is the space beyond life and death. Beings of lower planes can only, with their ignorant and brief glimpses, feel its existence. Only the more susceptible among them can understand what they see and thus yearn for it until their existence is exhausted. Their home is the final step before the incomprehensible metamorphosis takes its course. But this is something I am also yet to see. Right, so it seems like this is what you get a glimpse of after taking hit of DMT, really. Uh, so, a, a semi-physical plane of existence. What did you call this? A semi-physical plane of existence? Yes, this is the next stage of evolution. Hmm. A region of transition from corporeal to incorporeal. The last frontier of all material cosmos. I see. I can remain here no more. 
no. the consistency of this vessel is losing its integrity. Let's take a look at that vessel. Take my words and return to your own waking reality, Wanderer. Right. You cannot comprehend the implications this place has for your kind. No. Oh, and he's gone. Yeah, he was right. The vessel couldn't hold up much longer. Right. Is it wrong that I want to kind of touch that? <laughs> oh. Hold on. So, is it light that... Yeah, apparently it's light that opens the door. Wow. This has already got my interest. I'm definitely going to be checking out the full game. I don't know when the full game is due to be released. I think it does say uh, a fairly vague 2020, so in the coming months, I assume. I just don't know exactly when. Alright, so through here. Alright, so they're saving in the demo, so it's probably going to be a fairly long one. And I like the sounds of that. Whoa, look at that. Uh, Alice? Alice? Who's Alice? Uh, oh, this is where the demo ends. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, are we going to go through that? Alice, wait for me! Yeah, wait for me, wait for me, come on! Alright. Oh. Oh, of course. Well, we had the Lovecraftian stuff, now let's get the cyberpunk stuff. Hey, where are you going? I don't know. Not this way, but let's just check it out either way. Cool, alright. So this is set, what, maybe a hundred years in the future, something like that? Alright. Uh, hit the button. See, oh! Well, we got the, <laughs> we got the snakes back, but... Well, it looks like this is going to be some sort of puzzle. I see. Ah, uh, okay, so they just go in, in, in slightly different movements, depending on which one you click. I suppose we've got to get them all to eat their tail. Oh, that was so close. That was so damn close. But now they're all going to be fucked up. Okay, so they, yeah, they've each got to clamp down on the tail, presumably. And as something goes there as well. Oh, and there's the reset button. Okay, that's that's nice. Let's see. Okay, right, I got it. And there's... <laughs> Yet another one. That is a fancy door lock. That's what we have to look forward to, is it? In the uh, in the near future. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, down here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. Whoa, hang on. Uh, tentacles. Yep. Hmm. All right. Probably don't want to go that way, but I kind of do at the same time. What's this? Is it? Hang on, I had it then. Am I? Oh, I might be standing on it. I, I, I think I was standing on the door. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's sort of physics-based, like Penumbra or Amnesia. What the hell have we got here? Right. Wait, are they... Oh, oh. Are they... Like moth people? What the fuck? I... And they're gone. Is it... Are we going through it? Yep. There's a lot going on. There's a lot to take in. I don't know if my brain can handle it right now, but, uh... It's definitely giving us a good sort of taster. Okay. So then, are we still trying to catch up with her? Is she down here? Did she come down here? I didn't see her, but maybe. Okay. Oh, hey there, buddy. Uh, can, 
Oh. Oh, that's why I can't jump. It's an investigation key. If I scan the body... Maybe that's going to be voiced in the full game. Right, okay, so... Let's see. Oh, you got... Oh, hold it, I see. Um... So, unknown man, he's dead, brain damage due to an immense electroshock directed to his entry port. That sounds very cyberpunk. Uh, traumatic brain injury, yeah, TBI. Okay. And we can have a better look at him. So, what do we got? Let's have a look at this. His brain was fried. Someone probably hacked his neural implants. Ah. Killed him remotely by overloading them. The bastards. This isn't the work of an ordinary hacker. Hmm. Okay. So there's that. Did I get... Okay, there's something here. Oh! An external sound recorder. I'd better check it out. Nutel. How do I... Ah. Okay. That's all we get. I don't think we can actually interact with the buttons at all or anything like that. So, okay, I'm just going to leave the object. I'm not going to take that with me. I'll just put that back in your jacket, sir. You got anything in your hands? Hmm. There's something in his pocket. Oh, something in the pocket. Okay. Um, this thing looks like an electronic device of some sort. It is, is it a mouse? I wonder what it hides. Oh, no. Oh, this is a scarab thing? Okay, hang on. Oh, it needs a higher clearance level? Or does it? This is all automatic, by the way. I'm not I'm not choosing to do this, but I'm trying to sort of like hack our way in. The lockpick is successful. Keprocorp. Uh yeah, alright. What do we um Oh, okay. These three I I see, I see. Okay, so we can't change the, the moon or the sun or anything. Right. So there's a scarab, a snake eating its own tail. And a triangle. I suppose that's meant to be the pyramid. Uh, that was... Did you say a pyramid in the east? Let me just back away from this. Put put that down. Can I listen to this thing again? Yeah. Alright, I'm going to start taking notes as well. Right. Pyramid in the east, that's right. So there's a scarab by the sun. From the west. So you think the scarab would be in the top left, because that's where the sun is, and then the, the snake is going to be right at the very bottom, I think. And the pyramid was in the east. All right, well, that's that's what I'm going to try. So let's pull this thing back out. And yeah, we don't need to uh, unlock it with the skeleton key again. So yeah, I think you need to be down there. It was from the west, so it's not going to be the west. Um, let's put the pyramid there. And you need to be the scarab, I think. No? Didn't it say something about the scarab and the sun? That's got to be right. That... Hang on. Like, this entire top section is, like, the sun, right? So... Hey! Yes! Okay, cool! Figured it out. And we've got... Something. And we're not going to leave the object this time. We're going to take it. We're taking that with us. Okay. Anything else? So there's that device. There's that. Anything in this hand? No. Nothing in the trousers. Nothing on your legs. Okay, I'm just going to back away. Right. Alt to view... Okay. So this thing. Yeah. Anything else worth looking at? What? Ah, hang on.
Oh, that's where it goes. Right, yeah, this is going to get us into the, the lower sections, right? That's, that's what the guy thought. Okay. That's kind of creepy that these wires are moving around like they've got a life of their own. Maybe they do. Maybe they're not wires. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is reminding me of Darkness Within, uh, Canarium, and a little bit of Absaloth as well. Alright. Oh, Christ. Whoa. Look at this. How long have you been in those tanks, I wonder? Ooh. Okay. Oh, is Alice. that her? Alice, yes. Oh. So close and yet so far. Oh, no, wait. No, I'm coming with. Yes, okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, I knew it was going to do something like that. I was really getting into it as well. There you go. That was the demo, everyone. That was the demo to Transient. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. <laughs> Sorry. It just caught me off guard. I am certainly going to wishlist this on Steam because that was a great deal of fun. And there's so many questions that I want the answers to as well. Am I going to leave my corporeal form? And I, am I going to catch up with Alice? Who are these beings? How did I get myself into this weird situation? There was a lot to take in just in the demo. And that was what, like 15, 20 minutes long? Something like that. So, yeah. It seems like this is going to be a lot like Darkness Within and Canarium, both of which I loved. So yeah, this is going to be a real treat for me to play when it comes out. And rest assured, when this does come out, whenever it comes out, I will be playing it on the channel, all right? Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. All right. Uh, oh, right, okay. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my. Oh. Oh! Oh, hey! I suggest you go back! And I suggest you abide by the subtitle restrictions. Is it wrong that I want to kind of touch that? <laughs> okay, right, I got it. And there's yet another one. That is a fancy door lock. Tentacles? Yep. Hmm, alright. Like, this entire top section is like the sun, right? So... Hey! Yes! Okay, cool! Oh, so close and yet so far. Oh no, wait, no, I'm coming with. Yes, okay, <laughs> fantastic.